Hi guys, it's Nigel at Lock and Key Pet Estate Agents and I hope you're well. Look at this beautiful Monday. Uh, time is about coming up closer to, to 12 o'clock. And I wanted to welcome you to my property tour this Monday morning because just in there behind me is a truly an immaculate three bedroom semi-detached property situated in uh, arguably one of the uh, most requested little uh, cul-de-sacs of Meltram called Speedwell Close just off the town centre, up Spa Road, into Campion Drive, so it's a level walk into town. Um, there's a garage, as you can see, parking there. Um, guys, this property has been offered with no one with chain. It's immaculate inside, double glazed in gas. Um, it's keenly priced as well. It's a, it's a gem of a little three bed semi to put on the market today. There's the added be uh, benefit also of the conservatory. Um, upstairs, you have your three bedrooms and bathroom. Downstairs, you have your downstairs cloakroom. Then you've got this lovely flooring that takes you into a living room, uh, kitchen, conservatory. It's truly immaculate inside. Um, and ideally, guys, this would suit, I don't know, a first time buyer, uh, investors, someone downsizing. Um, it's yeah, it's, it's a little gem on this one. Um, with all my property tours, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spin this camera around. We're gonna talk about the amenities and then we're gonna go and have a decent look at this um, three bed semi and speed well to, uh, close today. And like I said, guys, it is offered with no one would change. So it's not gonna be on the market long just because of the proceedability of the property, the condition inside, the price. It's got everything it ticks most boxes for most people. And here we have it, because now the sun is out of my eyes, actually. You can just see this attractive red brick three bed semi. Parking goes there, garage there. There's even a personal door that goes out into the, to the rear garden. Speedwell Close, as you can see, is this quiet little cul-de-sac and it arches around, it spurs off a bit there, and then it just links around. And you've got a collection of twos, mainly threes, and four bed properties and it just takes you along Campion Drive and just there guys there's a roundabout you can walk into town from here and look I'm quite a fit lad I think I can do this in 10 or 15 minutes max to get into town there are the, all the amenities with the new campus the schools that are just up there with the oak there's other schools around here like a lyric and it just has great bus routes it has the the doctor surgeries on your doorstep if you want to go further along and it takes you further up here to the next roundabout and of course you can peel off then you can go towards Bower Hill. If you work in Devizes, it's perfect because it's only a few miles away. You can even connect, go to the villages of Seen and Seen Cleave. There's lovely canal walks, pubs around there. If you wanted to go along the A350 and head, say you're heading towards, I don't know, Trowbridge, you can then go to, towards Warminster, Westbury, even the A3, uh, 303 from here. And just to drive, if you wanted to go into, say, Chippenham and you needed an access to the M4, on a good day, guys, I think that's a 15, 20 minute drive. And then you can go to the south of England, Bristol, Bath, Bath, the historic <laughs> cities, you know, is only 10, no more than 13, 14 miles away. Um, and then, you know, it can also go to, you can also from the M4 go to London. There's a train station in Melchim that goes every hour or two that can link to Chippenham. And then from Chippenham, you can get to Paddington even. So it's very well located, this property. It does have no one would change. So of course, it's going to suit first time buyers. Of course, it's going to be, so, uh, suit people that aren't looking for big chains in this market because it's tricky enough as it is. But it's truly immaculate inside. And I can't wait to take you through that porch and into this property in Speedwell Close. And here we go, as we walk along, like I said, parking here, just there in front, you can use the gar uh, garage as well. Double A's door, let's open it up. Go and explore this property. Just gonna close the door behind me. And you know guys, with all my tours, as I just spin this camera around, I'd just like to show you as we came in from that double glazed entrance door, some nice wood effect flooring radiator to the right. And if we open up this door, Nice and easy this, this property, because it just sells itself. A little vanity unit, wash and basin, radiator. I uh, saw that's a door to there, so not radiator, radiators there. Low level WC, and there you can see an obscure double glazed window. That just brings in the, the natural light into this cloakroom. Close the door, spin the camera around, 
and this is where the property gets decent as well. You can see the stairs that go up to the first floor landing. The continuation of this flooring, absolutely stunning. I love the built-in shelves. I think that's staying and remaining if somebody wants it with this shelving here and then the, the base units or the units here on either side of that fireplace. That's a, that's a cold effect gas fire as well. There is gas heating here. And then it just opens up into this lovely window at the front. And of course, we mentioned about natural light. You can just see it beaming off. The sun's actually just behind the property, but it's just beaming natural light into this property. Let's spin the camera around and then you get another taste for the, the finishings that we have here. There's plenty of space there for freestanding. There's a sofa can go here. There's a seat here, table there. They've got the television you know, on the wall and it tucks it away, it's neat and tidy. Under the stairs, there's a little bit more storage. These doors open up into a stunning other room, which we'll look at in a minute. But as I just take a step back, here you can see the nice, the nice decorations, the lovely colour schemes and the, 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 that, that colour green, which is like a Farron and Ball. And then it just complements the white and then that would, would affect flooring and everything that goes with it. Little areas there, you can put cute things like, you know, your lamps, little side desk there, really, really cute. Let's bring this camera around. To show you this angle again of course we're going to get those stairs that that rise to the first floor landing but what a great living room this is superb and genuine i do think it's either someone trading down you know or first time buyers are going to look at this property there's going to be quite a few because of the condition and the fact it's got no chain and there's not many like this on the market as we speak just come back through of course we can see then these doors that open up and yes, this is a kitchen diner. They've got a space there for their fridge freezer, a little space there for their table. Opens up into a modern fit kitchen. Things that are integrated, obviously, you've got oven, extract hood, four-ring gas hob incorporated, incorporated into the units. Eye-level cupboards, base units, that's standard. Lovely big window, one and a half bowl sink unit that goes out to another room. And I will just open up this door, this cupboard door, I should say, because there's your gas boiler tucked away in the corner, bring this camera around. And like I said, it just opens up into that seating area, which makes it a kitchen diner. Radiator there. And again, if you look at the flooring guys, just that continuation of the flooring that goes along this property. What a cracking room this is. Absolutely brilliant. Dishwasher, that just opens up, I will show you. Open up this little door. And there's your dishwasher. And there's more to come. So you can see this is the extension, patio doors, nice window opening up. And as we come out here, the sun's out in that back garden. I'm just gonna check my watch again, because I said it was around 12. It might be slightly, early. it's actually one minute past 12. So you know, if I look at, show you that camera there above this, you know that there's gonna be a southerly aspect here in the afternoons for the rear garden. Beautiful conservatory, tile flooring, Love these glass. There we go, another one. Beautiful glass ceilings or roof. Just take a step back. I'm gonna open up this further just so you can see the size of this conservatory. But again, plenty of areas. Quite a cute idea. Instead of the bedroom being a home workspace, they've made it here. And of course, look, you don't need to be in the shop working in London or anywhere. You know, a lot of people now are hybrid working. So they want, you know, they want you working from home for a couple of days, you still go back into work. What a brilliant room to have it. You're still within the, the areas of the property. You're not upstairs. A lot of people are using the third bedroom, but you don't have to with this one. You can still do it. Maybe you're a couple and you both need to work from home and you need a bit of space. Well, look, this, this property lends itself perfectly for it. So all in all, I hope you've enjoyed the tour so far. Um, let's just recap. So obviously this is a lovely conservatory. You can call it a sunroom. You can call it what you want. But those beautiful, you know, that beautiful glass into that ceiling, I think is a very attractive feature. Come back out from this sunroom strip conservatory into this lovely kitchen diner. Continuation of the flooring. Nice size kitchen diner. Fitted appliances like the cooker, dishwasher, etc. And this is my favorite room actually. I know the conservatory is stunning, but I just like what they've got here with the freestanding the shelving and that flooring. You're just welcomed into a decent living room. Really good that. And then of course, as you open up from that front door, just to finish off the recap, there's your loo downstairs. 
So look guys, I hope you've enjoyed the tour so far. Let's go upstairs, have a look at those bedrooms, bathrooms, and explore up there. And as promised, let's go up. So we climb the stairs. You can see there guys, there's your access to loft space. And then it just goes left to right. So there's gonna be a bedroom there, bedroom there, bathroom and a bedroom. There's a radiator there to the right of that wall. Just wanna bring this camera around just so you can see the landing areas. I think it's really important nowadays because space is important. And it's also nice just to get a feel of the rooms and how they look now they come off each room and as we're looking straight ahead let's go into the bathroom low level WC goes without saying wash and basin pedestal wash and basin you can see half tile walling full tile walling there panel bath and then the shower unit there there's an extractor hat hood up there some blinds and then an obscure double glazed window to that rear elevation you've got a shaver point in there and I'm just going to check behind the door because usually there's a radiator and that one is a chrome style radiator. Let's open it back up again. Just come back on yourself into that landing area and then back into this bathroom. Three piece suite, pretty decent. Come back out and as we're walking straight ahead, let's go into the smaller of the three bedrooms. So again, this could be an office, but there is a, a little bit extra here. There's a cupboard. This goes over to the stairwell because as you know, this goes up the stairs. So from that stairwell here, there's a cupboard in here. And then it's big enough for a single you could put, you know, I've seen people put beds along here. You could put a single on this side, you could put a single there. But again, I think this is a great office. If you don't need the third bedroom, you do work from home, you can convert this into an office. You know, these guys got a little desk here and everything. So, you know, it's a great space for that, but it's a good size single. Radiator there, double glazed window to the front elevation. Turn my camera around, that's bedroom three. Let's call this bedroom one, you could call this bedroom two, but let's just call this bedroom one or two. It's a double bedroom, that's the basics of it. Double bed, bedside cabinets on either side, double glazed window bringing in some light, obviously your roller blind there. And it's just a decent size, your area there for freestanding. And as I pull the camera back and close the door, there you've got a built-in wardrobe as well, which is really convenient. And again, it just enables you to put freestanding, but I just want to take a step back just so you can see the, the bed and the space that you've got here. Open the door again. And then we have this double bedroom. And of course, last but not least, because there are three bedrooms, here's the other room. This could be a double again. You could use this as a main because it's at the rear. I don't think so. I think that bedroom there we've just seen, that bedroom is, is bigger than this one. But again, you could put a double bed. You've got a radiator double glazed window and if we pop that camera out there there's a pretty decent garden that I'll show you anyway I can't show you all of it because the the roof of that sunroom stroke conservatory is, is just taking over that view there but again you've got built-in wardrobes there again really good because you can just put your freestanding bits and pieces there the bed there you know you can have a bed that folds out you can have one in the middle sometimes it's good to have the folding out once you put a single in there because you get storage as well and then it comes out at a later date so to recap three bedrooms upstairs bathroom bedroom here let's call this bedroom two bedroom here let's call this bedroom three and then last but not least bedroom one master bedroom upstairs so let's go back outside let's have a look at that rear garden also want to show you that garage because um, there's a bit of power in there etc as promised guys we're just walking back down the stairs let's walk through this beautiful living room into that good sized kitchen dining room of course this has been extended beautiful sunroom conservatory love the ceiling love the glass love the roof just slopes very attractive Blinds are incorporated in there. And then it just opens up into this patio area. Bring the camera out there. There you can see you've got your own little seating area there, some trellising enclosed by timber fencing. And then the garden is laid to lawn. There's some attractive graveled areas. These have just been built up. Into, you can put some flower beds in there. There's some slate chippings there. Useful shed. 
as I bring the camera around here, the sun is beating down on this camera at this angle, because as you can imagine, as I mentioned earlier, that sun is now quite high. And for a winter shot, that will be even higher in the summer, so you're gonna get sun a lot longer. But I'd imagine it would come around a little bit later in the day as well. But attractive elevations to the rear, you can see that conservatory now, that sunroom. And of course there is a door there, which we're gonna walk through. But I'm just gonna show you this garden got some palm trees that will give it a summer feel palm tree there as well just losing some of its leaves there as you can see let's just walk a little bit further through because there's a double glazed door too and this is pretty decent all garages are filled with stuff up and over door to the front when we were out there doing the video and then you've got some useful storage eaves as well there and storage is very important and just here you can see plumbing for washing machine so that's great that doesn't need to be in uh, the actual kitchen it can make its noise out here tumble dryer whatever i think that's a very clever idea as well but definite power in here connected there's that lovely conservatory again and it's just finished off nicely with this lovely sized garden at the rear there all in all a decent semi-detached i mentioned the the address it's a very good address it's sought after because of the schools it's sought after because of the level walk into town there's nothing to do with this property really it's it's pretty immaculate you know you could change the color scheme or whatever or some bits and pieces of tiling but you know you could just wheel your suitcases in this property i think it's ideal uh, for an investor even i think it's ideal for first-time buyers people trading up or down any questions guys it's nigel at lock and keen Appent estate agents remember this one has no chain um give me a nudge if if this is something of interest to you it's a beautiful monday uh, afternoon now um even though it's cold it's a stunning day i think this property uh, um just completes the package today for monday any questions give me a nudge on 707 342